New tonight, a deadly shooting in Sanford. Police, Trayvon Martin was shot to death. I think that we ought to be very selective in allowing any Muslim race war. My parents tell me about March 3rd, 1991. Yet I remember where I was on February 27th, 2012. And I remember where I was this past July, on the 5th to be exact. Most of you don't know those dates, but I do. And, and I don't blame you, you know. So no shame. There's 365 days in a year, and, and those dates fall in between the blur of media coverage and Twitter hashtags. Those were the days when LAPD officers brutally assaulted Rodney King. And the days when both Trayvon Martin and Alton Sterling were killed because of the color of their skin. But then again, there's January 1st. And there's January 2nd, and there's January 3rd, and 362 days in which lives were taken, and children were beaten, and refugees were turned away. 365 days in which oppression reigned. Now, I stand here today with my brothers and sisters to fight for you. For, for those who don't have a voice, we will stand together for you, for Trayvon, and for Alton, because to strip me of my rights is to strip me of my soul. My heart yearns for freedom, and my body aches from the resistance that pushes against my meek force. I am a prisoner in a home I did not ask to be in, in a place where being free means to be in the boundaries of rules I cannot call my own. This life was written for me, as my mother's was for her, and as her mother's was for her, and as the cycle continues, I long to break free from the loop, to cover my chest with armor so thick that bullets and brandishings of hate cannot break through. We see the news, and we hear the cries of mothers clutching to their children. Their blood runs thick through the streets as my tears fall free from my eyes. I am not a weapon. I cannot brandish my anger like a sword. I must be calm. I must be quiet. Sit down. Stand up. Shut up. Be heard. But, but what's, what's the, the point? If all that will end is the constant fueling rage of hashtags and body bags, I am not the answer nor the problem. I will not be swatted away like a gnat on a summer's afternoon. I will not go quietly into the night like a train pulsing to the beat of the stars. I am oppressed in America, and that will never change. United against Islamophobia. No ban, no wall. Religious tolerance. We want equal pay. You bring nothing but hate into this world. Police officers fear for their lives, too. We are Syria. All I want is justice. We need to come together in peace. Respect for everyone. We are not hashtags. Refugees are people, too. United against Islamophobia. We says I can't play with people that look like you. Well, my mom said that you and your family steal from the government and you take everyone else's money. No, we don't steal. My mommy told me I was a good boy. I promise. Well, my dad says that all you do is fight and, and then you go to jail. No, I don't fight. I'll be good, I promise. I get S's on my report card. I... 
be nice. Still can't play with us. Why are you being so mean to me? That's just how it is. My mom says no. Hey, can I please play with you? She says, I don't want you hanging around that boy. I'll be nice. So I listen. My dad says no. He says that boy's bad and he'll make me bad too. Hey. So I listen. Bye. My sister says people like us just shouldn't hang out with people like him. So I listen. Hey, can I please play? I listen, but I don't understand. I won't be mean. I listen, but I don't understand how he's bad or how he's different. I listen, but I don't understand why I can't play with him because he only wants a friend. I don't understand why I can't be that friend. All the other kids run away and ignore him, and I don't want to be the one to do that. Excuse so me. I go home and I tell my mommy that I want to play with him. Can I please play with you? But she ignores. I just want to be your friend, I promise. I do. And then I tell my dad that he isn't bad. And then he ignores. And then I tell my sister that we should love everyone and play with them. And then she ignores me too. They all ignore and they refuse to try understanding. They ignore and then the kids at school ignore. And then the world ignores. Hey! What's your name? Jason. Jason. Do you want to play with us? Yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Wait, come back. You're... Wait, what? Gotcha! <laughs> Tiger <Tiger-y. laughs> Come this way. I'm glad I got out of there. I bombed the test. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so, what are you doing at school today? I'll be studying. No stress, there. You come with me? Really? Yeah, let's catch a movie or something. <laughs> Surprise! Where you go to prom with me? Yes! <laughs> Excuse me? Oh dear. Are you are you talking to me? Did I stutter? What's the problem here? I don't know. You tell me. If you had something to say, you should have said it to her face. You know what? Fine. Yeah. I see two people that shouldn't be together. What's the problem? Why shouldn't they be together? That's just how it is. That's how it works. I don't have time to deal with ignorant racist bitches like you. Oh my oh, You don't get to talk to me well, like I that. Did. What do you well, Hello, everyone. Glad you all could make it here today. Sorry I had to call this meeting on such short notice. You see, I called you all in here today to discuss with you the consequences. Sir, of... no, 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 there's no need for consequences. I told you what happened, okay? I was just being a supportive friend and Lexi threw an unnecessary comment. Excuse me, but my daughter would never do anything like that. Exactly, I don't know why I'm the target of these accusations. Because you ruined a perfectly good moment between me and Jason. Jason? Who's Jason? Do you want to explain that to me? I can. Yeah, Jason is one of Dear's friends who also happens to be dating Belle. And I'm sorry, but I can't help if that makes me uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. How could you lie to us about that? Please, please, please. I want to explain. 
Enough. 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 Discrimination or prejudice or whatever you want to call it, and this is not a discussion on that matter. Well, obviously it should be. This is obviously the entire reason why we're here. All right, exactly. All you've done this entire meeting, sir, is blame our daughter for this fight, and then side with Lexi and her family. And quite frankly, it's all too clear where you side with issues of race. This is ridiculous. All right. You all are just wasting time at this point. To you all, thank you for being here at this meeting. Lexi, thank you for being a witness at what happened earlier today at school. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you and your daughter are free to go if you want. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. And as for you two, due to your behavior during this meeting, and earlier today at school, well, I have no choice but to revoke your parking passes, right. suspend you suspend. for at least wow. three days of school, How are you gonna and ban you from the prom, as it apparently well, started no, this no, whole situation. No, it's not just now, please get out of my office. This meeting work. is over. What are our neighbors going to think? Bill. What's wrong? I, I promise everything's gonna be okay. I... I don't think we can be together anymore. Why are you saying this? This isn't you, I... I, I have to focus on school right now. We're proud of you, honey. It's better this way. No, Jason, I love you! I really loved you. You made me smile and you made me laugh and you made me happy. Isn't that what love is? Love is never the color of your skin, Jason. Love is who you are. And I loved who you were. And I miss you. My parents thought that our relationship would conflict with my studies. My happiness could not compete for their attention. But it's crazy to think that if you were white, maybe we'd still be together. This is not fair. Is it really too much to ask to be with someone that skin is a different color than mine? Someone that I love. Is it too much to ask to be with someone that loves me? I guess so. I hope you got the life you deserve. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming in today. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, hi, my, um, my name's Patrick, I'm 27 years old, and I, I just finished taking a couple college business classes, and I, I don't know, I guess I'm just ready to start my career. Hi, my name is Jason, I'm 33 years old, and I graduated from college with a degree in business management. And tell me, what are some of your strengths and weaknesses? I would definitely say I could be a good follower. I wouldn't call myself a leader, and in that sense, but I can definitely follow directions really well, and yeah, I can definitely be the best lead follower you've ever seen. <laughs> what would you consider to be your biggest weakness? Um, well, if anything, I would have to say when I set my mind to something, I don't stop until it's complete. But I've been working on my multitasking. How long do you plan on working here? Well, I, I don't know where life is going to take me, um, in the sense, but I'll definitely stay here as long as I can. Are you planning on this to be a short-term employment? No, ma'am, not at all. I'm looking for a full-time job with good pay that I can support my family with. 
And how many languages do you speak? Uh, I speak English. I am taking a few Spanish classes, though, online. What is your native language? English, but I'm also fluent in French. Where does the French come from? My parents. And what do you expect your hourly wage to be? Oh, uh, I... $15 an hour? Do you know or have you ever relied on government assistance? No. It hasn't come to that. We have money saved from previous jobs. And have you ever been convicted of fraud, theft, or so on? No. Have you ever been arrested? No. My record's completely clean, but you can't ask me that question. Do you have any questions for me? I'm just reading the questions off my paper. I don't think so, thank you. Obviously not. You wouldn't ask me an illegal question. Would you question. like to talk to my superior? No, I don't want to talk to your superior. You know what, I'm gonna do you a favor. I don't want the position. I refuse to work for someone like you. Thank you for your time. Hey, Javi, how was your day? Fine. Well, what did you do in school? We talked about cows. You talked about cows? Uh, what did you learn about cows? They're fat. <laughs> oh, hey, honey. Hey. How'd it go? I don't think I got the job. Why do you think that? Well, they started asking questions that were kind of leaning towards me being black, so I walked out. Oh, what, what do you, I don't know what you mean. What do you talk I refuse about? to work for someone who oppresses me. Well, I mean, you just gotta go out and try again. No, right? I'm sick of trying. I've been doing this for months now. You don't understand because you don't work. I don't work because I'm here with her. What do you want me to do? I, I don't understand why you're so angry. I know we grew up two totally different ways. But I need you to understand that I go through struggles. I've been dealing with this my whole life. You know what? If you're so angry, why don't you go riot like the people on TV? Why don't, go, why don't you go do that, huh? That's exactly what I'm doing. No, no, I, I was- I, No, it all makes sense. If nobody will fight for me, I'll have to do it myself. Well, if you're gonna put yourself in danger, we're not staying here. What do you mean? Come on, sweetie. We're going to my grandma's you house. Can't take yes, my I can. Yes, me. I can. What's going on? Go. Baby, I promise you, I'm coming home. Stay in the car, sweetie. Look, I understand why you're angry. I just, I want you to be safe. I will. I promise. I, I'm coming home. I'm not going out there to riot. I'm going to protest. There is a difference. Simply civil discourse. I love you. Why? Why is the question I ask God every time I open my eyes in the morning? Why did he make me the color I am? Why do people look at me in suspicion everywhere I go? Why does he hate me? I try. I try so hard to make myself happy with the skin I'm in. Sometimes I feel as though people don't understand what it's like for me to watch men and women of color be mistreated and disrespected. It's just not okay. So therefore I must go protest. I will protest for a world where we can hold our sons and daughters in our arms and let them know that everything will be okay. We will stand together. I'm not just protesting for me. I'm protesting for my wife and my little girl and all the times that we've been mistreated based off the color of our skin. You know, in school, we are taught to love everyone and treat others the way we want to be treated. But do people honestly take that into consideration whenever they follow me around in stores or look at me and start to whisper and laugh? No, they don't. And you, God, you just sit up there and you watch it all happen. Why? Why do you allow these things to happen to me? Why?
I'm an American. I was born here and I grew up with this idea that we were all equal and it didn't matter that I was a Muslim or that my father had an accent or that my mother wore a hijab. We were just Americans. It wasn't until I became a young man did I realize what my father meant when he said to me, son, you have to be careful. There are people out here who don't understand us and they won't hesitate to judge you, hurt you, or even kill you. I've spent my entire life being called a terrorist and people follow me everywhere I go. I can't even use public transportation without someone eyeing me down. But what people don't understand about my religion is that we are not a violent people. I could never wish harm upon anyone. And at the end of the day, I'm the one who's afraid. I'm the one who's terrified. I'm the one who's worried to walk out that door every day. I don't want this target on my back. And I don't want my children growing up feeling rejected by society like I was. I remember 9-11. I remember my father, a first responder, putting on his uniform and walking out that door. He never came home. And I remember the aftermath, and I remember growing up in the shadow of Al-Qaeda, and I remember grieving just like every other American did. But I never got the chance to grieve alongside the American people. And I guess from an early age, I knew that I would always be different. My message is religious tolerance. I just want to belong. Anya and Amir, put up your toys. We're going to be leaving for school soon. I mean, hello, Howard. You know, the, the man was a bit compulsive, let's face it. But on the other hand, he was absolutely the most amazing man that America has ever created, ever. Okay, I have got to interrupt you right now. Sorry. Richard Hack, thank you very much. We appreciate it. The book is called Hughes. We want to go live right now and show you a picture of the World Trade Center, where I understand, do we have it? A plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just a few moments ago, apparently. We have very little information available at this point in time. But on the phone, we do have Jennifer Oberstein, who apparently witnessed this event. Jennifer, can you hear me? There were many people in the building. Oh, another one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane just oh. flew directly over my building, and there's been another collision. Can you see it? Yes. I can see it on the shot. Oh, my Something God. Something else has you just... You know what? We just saw like a plane circling the building. Have you seen the news? I don't know. I can't get in contact with him. I guess. Can we come stay with you? Okay. I'm going to stop at the grocery store on the way. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay, be safe. Please. Come on, kids. We're going to go stay with CD for a while. Mommy, what's going on? Nothing, honey. What's on the TV? Nothing. Right this way, my lane is open. Can I the next customer? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, are you open? Yes, I am. Did you see who was on the news this yes, morning? Yes, I did. Oh my God, I have to be in Jersey. Is Jersey being right now? I just, I don't, no, I don't know what to think. I was just sitting in my room. Thank you. And, uh, have a nice day. It's going to be 4578, sir. Sir, how much? Yes, I'm sorry. Here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I can't help you. Come on. The next customer. I'll be right back. What the hell is the hold up? Yeah, what's taking these hodgings so long? Excuse me? You you heard him. I just. Pay for your groceries and get out. How dare you? I bet you knew it was coming. What are you talking about? 
You, you filthy terrorist, you little bomber kids too. What is going on here? This woman is making extremely derogatory statements towards me and my children. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but you know with everything going on today, you had to know that coming in here would have set people off. You should probably just go. Yeah, take that off on your way out. Just because I'm Muslim doesn't mean I'm a terrorist. If they have a problem with what I'm wearing, they should deal with that themselves. I'm sorry, but it's obviously safer if you just leave. This is ridiculous, come on. Yeah, next time you put that thing on, try hanging it around your neck instead. Get out! Get back to work! This is ridiculous. Right this way. Yo, Andrew, what's up, my man? Hey, no, how's it going? Good to see you. It's been great. What you been up to? Not much. Pretty busy with work. I'm going to Food Truck Friday with Amir and Anya tonight. That should be fun. Who's that? Uh, Amir and Anya. They're in our sociology class. They sit right behind us. Oh, the Muslim kids. Um, that's weird. You know? No, I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, just that you're hanging out with the Muslim kids? Would you stop calling them that? They have names. Really, man? Yes, Amir and Anya. They're my friends. Have a little respect. Dude, you're friends with terrorists. Oh. You're assuming that because they're Islamic, aren't you? Uh, assuming? I'm not assuming. Every time I watch the news, I see people that look like them, dress like them, talk like them, blowing buildings up. Wow, no, I knew you were a prick, but ignorant as well. Shut up, man. I bet you're up with the build bombs, too. Oh, wow, Noah, great talk. I hope you know you just embarrassed yourself in front of a lot of people. It's quite unfortunate how closed-minded some people can be. I'm not surprised something stupid like that came out of Noah's mouth. Honestly, why can't we all just be like Jesus Christ and love everybody? Ooh, Andrew, if the school is blown up before prom, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Thanks for sticking up for your friends, Andrew. Side with Noah. We gotta get rid of those bomb worshippers. What the hell, Noah? Ken, is it that hard to be nice to someone that's different from you? It's disgusting that this is how you view our society, Noah. I don't see why this is such a big deal. There are bigger issues going on in this world. The sad thing is, my brother and I have to go through this on a daily basis. I thought that by this age, my religion would not be an issue. Clearly, I thought wrong. Could I have a word with you in private for a second? Sure. Um, uh, that foreigner over there, his briefcase looks particularly suspicious, and I just really appreciate it if you could check it out. Fine, sure. Sorry, take it, please. Oh, yes, one second, please. Here Thank you, you. Go. And would you mind opening your briefcase for me? My briefcase? Yes, could you open it for me? Sure. Whoa, sir, what are you doing? I'm putting in the code to unlock it. Okay. Mm. 
Wow. Great work, detective. Uh, no, hey, listen. She had every right to do that. It's a simple safety precaution. And under what suspicion did she feel she had the right to check his briefcase? Well, that man said it looked suspicious. He walked right by me, and his briefcase didn't look suspicious at all. Yeah, well, we have to be careful around people who don't belong in our country. Are you kidding me? You know what? No, we don't. But since you're a bigot, you probably won't understand this. But you people need to stop making false assumptions based on these people's religion. You know nothing about them except for what you decided to learn on the internet. It's time for you guys to have a little more respect for humanity for once in your life. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Your? Your joke! You know what? You guys can take my seat, so that way you don't have to sit anywhere near these people. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Are we going to have any more issues? No. There's a rally tonight for equality at Freedom Park. You guys could, should come join us because we can't accept this oppressive behavior any longer. All around us, images flash by throughout the day. She's spitting on his shoes. He is pushing her. And I say nothing. I do nothing. I tell myself that I try not to stand in fear, you know, of being next. I start to walk faster because I don't want any trouble because so the faster I walk, the faster my problems should go away. But the truth is, confrontation is inevitable. And the sooner all of you realize that, the sooner you realize we need to stand together, just like I did. By coming together and going to protests, we'll make them hear us.
that's going to trouble the water. If humanity loved liberty more than it loves life, there would be no oppression. The most that could be done would be to kill them. We are oppressed because we tend to make concessions to accept oppression, in turn for the prolonging of our lives, or to keep our jobs, or not to make waves. Augusto Bowal. I pledge allegiance to the flag. I will take a stand. I will fight for you. You and I will fight forever with our backs together. We will stand tall. I will fight for you. If you fight for me, we will fight together. My heart beats for you, your heart beats for me. We will beat as one. one. I will fight for you. I will fight for you. If you fight for me, fight for me. Fight for me. 